Sterling Engine is a great source of power on Vulcan. You need about 42 iron, 50 copper, 44 silicon, 6 gold, and 65 steel, which you use to create these items. You need 2450 kPa of nighttime atmosphere, which you put into the engine. Then you, uh, during the daytime, you want to suck in the atmosphere into a insulated tank. And then once nighttime fires up, you then turn on the Sterling engine, which will get you about 1.5 kilowatts of power. All right, so we're at 2400, um, and that works out to be what, uh, well, 45 moles of gas. And so once you got a once you got a, a canister, um, you just put it in the front here. So that's the working gas that we need. So during the day, we filled up this tank um, with you know as much gas as we could. So here we have about five megapascals of uh, 639 degrees, you know, gas. Um, what that means is that as long as as long as the outside temperature is cooler than that, the Stirling engine is going to generate power. Obviously, the bigger the difference, the bigger the power generation. So as you can see, once the once the temperature is cold, we turn on the Stirling engine, and you can see that this is generating about 1.5 kilowatts of power, um, and it's purely because of the difference in temperature between the, you know, the daytime gas and the nighttime environment. So it's a very simple power generation on Vulcan that you can get set up quite easily.